Welcome back to Nengi's Kitchen. Look at what we are making today. We're making Ofen Sala, aka white soup. This is the soup that is made with yam. It is thickened with yam. All right, let us see some ingredients we will be using. This is called Okporoko. Isi Okporoko, that is the head of the stock fish. And this is Oporo, aka senior brother, elder brother to crayfish. These are our spices. Don't worry, I'm going to tell you the name. And this is called Ogiri. It is fermented castor seeds in English. All right, the, the one that just passes the chicken, washed, already washed. Now we have our seasoning and salt. This is Otazi. Uziza, Otazi. Uziza, Otazi. Uziza, Otazi. Uziza. <laughs> Doesn't it sound musical to you? All right, so look at yam. We're using yam to thicken this soup. It's not like the ones we use or for coco yam, archi. If you're conversant with this channel, you should know these names I'm calling. This one we're using yam. Ha <laughs> ha. Today now today. Yes, yeah, so so we're preparing our yam for our soup. Sharp, 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 sharp. We slice, we slice, we peel, we wash. Now we want to make it very fast. So we're boiling it in our chicken and stockfish. So the chicken is already washed, it's inside the pot. The, the stockfish is already rinsed, properly rinsed. And now this yam is going into it. Now you can cook your yam separately, but we are trying to save time, save gas, save energy, and save everything savable. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Welcome back to Nangis Kitchen. Thank you very much. So today we're making white soup. AKA Ofen Sala. Now, this soup should not be mistaken with pepper soup. It's as light as pepper soup, not too light as pepper soup, but very light. In fact, you will see what I'm talking about at the end. In the end, anyone. Okay, now, so it's time to. We have boiled, I, I boiled this for 25 minutes. You could boil it for 30 minutes just to cook your yam, cook your stockfish, cook your chicken, prepare it. So, like I told you, you could do it, you could boil your yam separately, but no, I didn't want to do it separately. I wanted to just sharp, 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 kill one, one bed with two stones, kill two stones with one bed. Okay, so I found it in the mortar. I added pepper, so I just fastened the process. You could use your blender, you could use your whatever you want to use. Just prepare this thing and enjoy. That's the ultimate goal. But if you want to save a lot of time, please do not use the mortar, use the blender so you'll be faster. So I added the pepper so I don't have to pin, finish with yam and I go back to pepper. Do you understand? Okay, so I'm back to my pot and it's time to start cooking. In this pot, we have stock already. We have stock fish. I took out the chicken so it won't be too soft. It's soft chicken that I use, by the way. So this is the ogiri. ogiri. This is fermented castor seeds. It is very, very, it's very, very good for the guts. It is probiotics it contains probiotics or it is probiotics just know that it is good for your body it is totally optional for this soup totally optional totally optional but it's good the taste elevates it elevates the the taste of um the yogurt. it smells it smells really 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 bad but in the soup it is awesome and excellent so that's why i left it in the polythene bag i didn't bring it up so look at this one now i'm putting the yam into the soup what comes to your mind whenever you see this thing? Whenever I do this, what comes to my mind is, imagine a world where we had equity, justice, and fairness. Where, look at, these are like, this, this is like opportunity being spread around the pot. You know, opportunity getting to everybody, no matter your level in the society, but everything comes to everybody, you know? But is it possible? Is it possible? Or am I dreaming? <laughs> <laughs> that people will have equal opportunities. It goes round the pot like this. Everybody, be you boy, be you girl, be you small, be you big, it is equal. Is it possible? Is it? Is it? So I cover the pot and allow it to cook for at least 15 minutes. If you are not using a non-stick pot, please come and be checking it from time to time so you can, you can stay so it doesn't get burnt. Remember, yam is a thickener. Thickeners are prone to burning. So I added my chicken that's already boiled. These are the leaves, utazi and uziza. Very, very nice for this soup. And very important, it is, they are not optional. 
it's almost time to serve our soup so now this uh in nigeria we have uh two types of white soup we have ofen sala which is by the eagles and we have the um afiafere which is by the aquaibom and the um, calabar people so this particular one i'm making now is by the eagles we will still make the other one so just for you to know that we have differences white soup is not just white soup but with a difference now the soup is ready and i'm enjoying mine with pounded yam please for this soup you can use chicken turkey or fresh catfish or goat meat do not use beef no you wouldn't love it won't come out very very well you won't get that real fresh taste but you could try it if you really really like like beef so that's just my advice to you to cover to cover not two cents <laughs> all right so who'll be trying this it's now time for me to enjoy i enjoyed it with pounded yam yes no fufu for this one this one is original pounded yam it's time wash your hands wash your hands you have worked and it's time to enjoy oh yeah cut it like this mold it so that it would be smooth and glide slide via the alimentary canal easily and it is also what uh, not not worthy for me to let you know that the soup is light like this but when it gets cold it will be thicker so do not think ah no no it's too light let me add more and more water no when it is cold it will be thicker so soups are so to, soups i said soups i'm already i'm already salivating that's why i'm now saying something else. <laughs> soups are liable to get thicker when they are cold so do not be misled do not be deceived do not be hoodwinked <laughs> all right so let's enjoy enjoy and tell me when you're preparing yours how did it go i would list all the ingredients do not worry you will know the names and you will enjoy oh yeah now oh yeah now enjoy so thank you for being here thank you for subscribing to this channel thank you for watching these video the videos thank you for liking the uh videos i really appreciate you and i say thank you Mwah! ha 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 bye bye <laughs>